By your sweet, sweet, sweetest Princess Silk. I am your silky smooth, super soft Principessa Silkita. Always ready, willing, and able to talk with you. And yes, I haven't forgotten I offered you the Psyche, but yesterday I was so depleted so in so very many senses. I'm not sure if you heard it in my voice. I couldn't muster up the strength to show you. Because it's not a physical movement, it's something else. To look into everything. When I do the I talk a lot show or a lot of things. I said Kelly's husband was a mountain climber once. I never saw him in the mountain though because we had the mountain rise around. I could walk in the mountain to my house to Kelly's. Uh -huh. Yes, I could. Yes. No, I'm, 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 I'm driving right now in my mind to the mountain, how it works. That's not what I want. But I did climb the mountain once from a house in that neighborhood I described earlier in front of the marina where the girl was like feeling ashamed that she said she lived there. All the way up by the water tower, there was a family who lived, a woman who I got to see. Before I talk to you about it, yeah, I finish up the Kelly's husband. I liked Kelly's husband. I never tell you I like people as a man. Remember, I was busy with some little American monkey. I don't have time for that. Besides, I liked him as a person because he was sensitive to nature. I could see it in his eyes. Yeah, Mount Everest it means long training. Endless amounts of hours, months in the mountains to survive that. He was used to the mountains. I am not an alpine girl. I do not come from the south of Germany. I am from Hamburg, there's no mountain. But I like mountains, as long as there's vegetation and trees, hopefully. Yeah, the Alps, eventually that ends. There's one flower in the mountain, it's called Edelweiss. A tiny little thing, which is completely irrelevant. I don't know, there's a chocolate named after that. Is that a Swiss chocolate? <laughs> and there's a movie made from the ancient ones. Let's skip it, right? There was a mountain range the uh, park mountain around my house which yeah of course you could reach it not that tall though shorter to that other neighborhood where kelly and her husband lived i never saw kelly's husband in the mountain and i have a very strong sensation that he never ever went up there I'm not sure why though yeah that tent in his living room that was lamentable but it was definitely innovative for the people around. I know that he liked me too. You, you have to understand, when I say he liked me, I'm not saying he lusted after me. That is a complete different chapter and I despise those people. He liked me, meaning he could see something within me. Because one day I bumped into him at a large store. No, I was with the kids. I don't think he ever stopped. I think he just walked by, we said hi, but the way he said hi, I could see it. It is almost like we were on the same team in a way. Only in the team of appreciating of nature. Because you could see I am honest. Oh yes, I did sing at his house. Kelly hosted a party. While inviting all the friends and the couples, right? I offered again, as I was there, to sing. Kelly did not want me to sing at her house. So she came as a delinquent to the park to watch me sing, but she did not want me to sing at her house. What does it mean? Oh, I haven't finished that story yet, right? Oh, don't you worry about the other house I walked because I have it in my notes. So if it doesn't pop up in this video, now that we are back to the Kelly and her husband, 
Okay, that is what I depicted in the book, in my first book of the trilogy. Is it a trifecta? <laughs> oh yes, I'm introducing new words. And the old ones are renovate, <laughs> an alliance, and, you know, correct the spelling and the pronunciation. So we are up to date. Okay, can't say that yet. The school pushed the parents to give donations out, like pretty much the entire year. An amazing amount of pushing to give out donations. And they had this highlight event where there would be a rifa, an auction, where things would be auctioned. Things or services, I'm not sure. So I offered to sing, to give a concert, a recital, where people could, you know, to auction the entrance tickets. That's a large one, that's a biggie. Yeah, because I am like, you know, a diva. I am a professional. I'm really good at what I do, really good. Never achieved. You have no idea how beautiful. Because when you look at me singing, you do not observe, like, do I like opera, do I not like opera, or da da da. No, you have no more time to think because you're in it. That's what I can do. You're in it. You're absolutely experimenting, experiencing the the event, the happening. And when you wake up and notice where you're sitting, well, then my concert is over. That's what I can do for you. Because I'm an artist. I want you to feel good. That's all that matters to me. As opposed to the asshole who want to be the stars and want everybody to applaud them who don't give a damn about, you know, the audience or the other people. Like Rosalba in her house, she wanted to be the star in that evening. So me singing, that made her like a nobody. The servant, that's how she behaved. Or Kelly, same difference. She didn't want me to sing because I would be too shining. All the way, though, before, she had licked my art in the beginning. Because she thought now she scored being next to the diva. Or back to the school event. So I offered. Somehow we had to do that in partnership. We had to do always those things in two. I have no clue why, though. I have no clue why, but Kelly was assigned to me in a way. So we would do that event together. Well, I can bring this and that, but can you bring Kelly? Kind of next to nothing. What she could bring out is money. So I thought, let's make it a dinner. Let's make it a recital with food. In a fancy venue. A venue, you know, adequate, ad hoc for the occasion. I did have the venue too. Because those people, the couple who live there, they like to give out social gatherings. They had done it for the school. I was there. Wait, it was a private event. It was for a certain group from the school. Okay, but I was there. I've seen it. Oh yeah, that was the welcome event to our new neighborhood, the new school year. It was a perfect venue for doing the, hosting those kind of events. In a warm, you know, climate of the autumns in that Northern California. Half outdoors, half indoors. Okay, very pretty. So I needed to provide for the food, but the food that was actually, I think it was not even my idea. At the time, Claudia, the German girl, Germans work hard, no matter east or west. She was still my friend and she said, wow, I can, I can cater. I worked in catering and events. I can do that. How much money do you got? Well, Kelly offered that amount. So, okay, cool. You know how it works, right? So there is an event and people can purchase a ticket. And with the purchasing price of the ticket, the school has an income because the donation is what we, the parents, can give. And Kelly gave 300 bucks. And I gave the venue, which I organized. Of course, someone else did, but I organized it, so it was my event. I gave my voice, I gave my orchestra, I gave my, you know, my pro on and on and on. I gave all that. And the food. Claudia said, I do that. Look, in Germany, we don't do things to receive favors. 
We just do things because it's nice to do things and we get it done. So Claudia said, yeah, I can, I can manage with that quantity of money. It wasn't much money. But I calculated, ask so many people, right? Or maybe I said what I had in mind. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, I can do that. We could have fit 50 people in there. Why not? If I serve sushi, for example, do you know how much rice that is and how little fish? How much sushi I can do in that amount of money? Oh, yeah, I could have even gotten the, the beverage for free if I would have acted upon it. As a donation from some brand, but we didn't came that far yet. Because in a, an event like that, you can, you can sell beverages, you don't have to give it out. You can give out food and maybe one cup of a glass of wine and the rest you can sell. You're not really having, needing a license to sell because you just ask for a donation. And the kitchen was large uh, with this large table and you could have you put like beverages out there and sell. Everybody would understand that. It was very, very pretty and very beautiful, all very, you know, at a glance done. And I talked to the owner of the house. Yeah, that was actually the nasty lady who thought she could put herself in front at the fabric store. Well, I don't mind if she's an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I do mind, but I don't establish my relationship with the people just because they do horrible things. And maybe that happened afterwards. I don't really know. But I asked her if she would do that because for her, it's, it's you know, why does she want to live in that fancy house? To presume, of course, everybody knows. Imagine. No, when I went the first time, it was a selective group. But now there will be another group, also selective. People who want to spend money to listen to opera. You know how much cooties she gets? <laughs> I bring her clients to her social convention, right? Because those people only live for that social convention. But to the effect that her husband start in a marathon which was done given one, once a year or uh, one year on that very large road in front of all of our neighborhoods. I saw him running though. For public relation, I don't get it. I would not want to do that. I don't want to make a fool out of myself because I'm not into competition. Ah, but he was and he was winning, right? He had a winner, winner, winner. What happened with his wife? The Asian bitch. Never mind for that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that hint came from. Oh, he was actually handsome, yes. I have no clue what car he drove, but you, you figure, as I described. Every man around him, Jesse, Jesse. Like he is, a, you know, next to become rock star now. What the heck, what are they plotting to? I have no clue. Oh, they know. Little sissy suckers, that's what they all were. So the, uh, his wife, the Asian one, oh yeah, she will come. She said, yeah, of course, we can do that here. So I had it all planned out. So I presented to Kelly in a way. Yeah, that was just the last organizational little thing. I shouldn't have told her, and actually. I should not have said it, what I had in mind, because I didn't have to. But I did. I don't know, because I like to share. I have no secrets and why not saying and suddenly Kelly says no I said what no 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 what do you mean by no 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 we only can have six couples in the event meaning you know you <laughs> your partner and then my me and my partner and then four more couples my friends and their partners husbands I said why the school event no 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 i said we, can, we do uh, we fit the 50 people no she said kelly it's not possible i said what do you mean oh no that money will not be okay for 50 people i didn't say a word at the time but i was still thinking kelly you're missing out the purpose on this event do you understand that and that's why i did the math for you in that book in my trifecta <laughs> the first book Kelly wanted to spend 300 bucks to get an exclusive dinner 
with opera in a private setting, beautiful overview over whatever neighborhood that was, yeah, hers, for $300 for her and her friends. That's what Kelly wanted to have. This had nothing to do with the school or with the nation whatsoever. She was so adamant about her stupidity that I'll just let go. I released and left. So the event never happened. Can I? Bring you to the six where I really stay. Baby. Show you why I am the way I am. Can I? Tell you what I think my biggest flaw is. Baby. I try to be consistent, but I can't. Can I? Have an honest moment with you right now. Baby. Tell me who the fuck you wanna be. Can I? Get an honest answer from you right now. Baby. Cause all we ever talk about is me. Can I? Before I turn the lights on. Before I turn the lights out, tell me who the fuck you wanna be. Can I? Call a steady text you on the hotline. Sometimes a nigga wanna hear your voice. Can I? See you right now, I know the sun is up. Baby. Sorry, I don't really have a choice. Can I? Ever make you feel like I'm down for you. Baby. You do so much more than that for me. Can I? Finally take the time and open up to you. Baby. Cause that's the side you never get to see. Can I?